Hello everyone. In the previous session, I have solved the problems based on uh, uh, Taylor series and Maclaurin series. So in this session, let me solve the problems based on Lorentz theorem. So as I already done this theorem, this theorem in previous session, please go to the statement of this. Anyhow, I'll be writing directly. So this problem is important. Either they'll give cos hyperbolic of z plus one by z, or they'll give sine hyperbolic of z plus one by z. Fine. So this is one of the important problem. So first, let me write solution. And uh, clearly, notes will not be sent again in the group. So you have to solve by using the. I'm sorry, by watching the video. Fine. First step. First by write down the Lorentz theorem by Lorentz series. So what is the Lorentz series says? F of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a n into z minus z naught power of n. And where a n is given by one divided by 2 pi i into integral over c, f of z divided by z minus a power of n plus 1 into dz. So this is the Lorentz theorem statement. So you have to write both the statements. Fine. Next, let us consider a given function as f of z. So f of z is equal to cos hyperbolic z plus 1 by z. Now, as you already know that z is given by e power of i theta in terms of complex numbers, right? So let me differentiate this. dz is equal to i into e power of i theta into d theta, right? When you differentiate, you will get this. And moreover, theta will be always in between zero and two pi, as the given uh, equation is circle. So zero to two pi, the limits for theta. Now, let us consider a n. It is given divided by. It is given by one divided by. 2 pi i into integral over the curve c 0 to 2 pi. Why? Because limit is known to us. It is 0 to 2 pi as it is circle. Now write down the function f of z. It is cos of. I am just substituting in a n. Cos of h hyperbolic z is i e power of i theta plus 1 divided by z is e power of i theta. At a time you have to replace f of z is cos z in cos h into z plus i theta. I replace z with e power of i theta. So you will get this. So f of z divided by z minus a power of n plus one. So you can note that z minus a. So here the value of a is zero. So you don't have, you cannot have a here. Why? Because a value is zero as in the given problem. So uh, remaining is when a is equal to zero, what you are going to get? Z power of n plus one, right? So z is e power of i theta whole power of n plus one. Integration is whole over this curve zero. Uh, now dz you have dz can be written as i into e power of i theta into d theta. I'll just repeat once again. So first you have to read, write the Lorentz series uh, standard form. Both the equations you have to write. Next consider a given equation as f of z and replace z with e power of i theta and find out the dz. Next you just integrate a n just by substituting all the values. Fine. Now let me simplify this equation. So Simplification is quite lengthy, but you have to practice. No way. So after seeing two to three steps, you just write down in your notes, and after that you just recall the concept so that you will understand well. So cos hyperbolic of now I can write this as see here e power of i theta plus e power of minus i theta, right? I have shifted this to numerator. Clear? Now um, what what is the term you have in the denominator? See here e power of i theta. Whole power of n plus one. So I can uh, shift this term to numerator. Before that, I can split this as e power of i times n into theta into e power of i theta. Right? When you are going to add the um, bases, since bases are same, we can add the exponential. So you will get back the same. Right? So e power of i theta into n plus e power of i theta. I can write now i into e power of i theta into d theta. Now i with i get cancelled. E power of i theta, e power of i theta get cancelled. So what you left with a n is one divided by two pi integral over zero to two pi cos h into e power of i theta plus e power of minus i theta. Now I can shift this to numerator. So e power of minus i n in i n theta into d theta. Now look at the formula that we can apply here. Is we know that e power of i theta plus e power of minus i theta divided by two is cos theta. Right, we know that formula for cos theta is e power of i theta plus e power of minus i theta by two. So you can cross multiply so that you will get the value of e power of i theta plus e power of minus i theta. So let me do that. So after cross multiplication, I can write this term as two into cos theta. So I'll just write here a n is equal to one by two pi into zero to two pi 
cos h into I can write this as 2 cos theta as per this formula 2 cos theta into now we have e power of uh, um, i into n theta right so as we already know that e power of i theta how can we write e power of i theta as cos theta plus i sin theta right so similarly e power of minus i n theta can be written as cos of n theta minus i sin n theta d theta so i have expanded e power of n theta so e power of i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta so in place of i theta i have minus i into n theta so i have expanded by using the expansion clear now let me simplify this i am going to split this by multiplying the term so i can write a n as 1 divided by 2 pi integral over 0 to pi cos h of 2 cos theta into uh, cos n theta minus so i am going to multiply this so i will separate the integral now minus 1 by 2 pi integral over 0 to 2 pi cos of h into 2 of cos theta so i i can take outside i into sin n theta d theta clear i will just repeat once again what i have done is i have multiplied this term inside so that you will get two terms difference of two terms so i have written minus here and i have taken i outside so i have chosen as two terms now let me consider one of the term as uh, i so let me take the second integral as i so let me take this as equation one now let me continue here let us consider the i value so call this as equation one you just uh, copy down these uh, steps and call this as equation one and let me take i value so i'll just write here <coughs> so i is equal to what is the value i have chosen it is i'll just leave the constant here i'll just consider the integral so i have to simplify this cos of h into 2 cos theta into sin n theta into d theta fine so i have to evaluate this integral now a n i have uh, simplified it as a two terms so i have taken this integral in order to simplify the expression a n so i is considered as integral of this value now let me put the procedure is same so for all the problems you have to remember so put theta is equal to 2 pi minus lambda so if you are replacing theta with 2 pi minus lambda your d theta will be 2 pi differentiation is 0 so differentiation of minus lambda is minus d lambda and you when the minute when you replace theta with lambda you have to replace the integral so when theta is equal to when theta is equal to 0 implies what will happen to lambda replace theta with uh, 0 so you will get lambda as plus 2 pi similarly when theta is equal to 2 pi lambda will be see, replace theta by 2 pi so 2 pi 2 pi get cancel lambda will be equal to 0 so this is the limits of an integral so i can write the integral i as so limit 0 changes to 2 pi and 2 pi changes to 0 now uh, let me replace cos h of 2 times cos of theta should be replaced by 2 pi minus lambda into sin n into theta can be replaced by 2 pi minus lambda d theta is replaced by minus d lambda fine since i have minus here so i'll just change the sign of an integral as per the property of integral says that suppose if you have a to b if you want to change the limits i mean interchange the limit you have to change the sign that is you can write this as minus of b to a so i'll do that since uh, if you're going to interchange the limit minus so with this minus will become plus so i can write this as i is equal to 0 to 2 pi cos of h into 2 times cos of now uh, as you already know that cos of 2 pi is none other than 360 cos of 360 minus theta is cos theta right it, this is from the basic definition so i can write this as cos lambda fine now let me simplify further so as i already told you sin of uh, 2 pi minus lambda is 2 pi is 360 sin 360 minus theta will be it is n into 2 pi lambda make sure you have n here so n into 2 pi minus lambda n into 2 pi whatever may be the value of n you assign n as i already told you sin n, n pi value will be zero or else sin 2 360 minus lambda will be minus of sin n lambda as i already told you since i am interchanging the integral that is lower limit changing to upper limit so i have interchanged the minute when we interchange minus will become plus so i have to change d lambda see here when you interchange you will get minus so that minus cancel with this minus so that is why plus comes here see all these steps you have to um, understand then only you can simplify hope so you are uh, getting this concept now what i'm going to do is 
as lambda tendings to theta in the sense let me replace lambda with theta so i can write i is equal to wherever lambda is there you just since lambda is arbitrary now you replace lambda with theta so you will get 2 times cos theta i'll just write minus outside so sin of n theta d theta what I have done is, I'll just tell you the glance of the problem. First, you write down the definition of Lorentz series. Next, take the given function as f of z. Since it is lengthy, so I'm telling you glance at each and every step. So, taking f of z as a given function and replace z with e power of i theta. So, whatever the needed thing for integrating, that is dz, you have to calculate. And take this ean expression, wherever f of z is there, replace with the given function. And z with e power of i theta and d theta, dz is also replaced by d theta and simplify and split the given integral as two terms now let us consider the second integral it is very important problem so I, while considering the second integral you need not to consider the constant now what I am going to do is I am going to change the limits why because I am replacing theta by 2 pi minus lambda so in the next step what I have done is the minute when you replace the integral I mean lower limit and upper limit so sign of integral changes instead of that minus sign with this sign will get cancelled if you want you can write one more step here minus of this minus i'll just write here minus minus so this minus will with this minus will become plus so here you have a one more minus sign this is what i have now look at the equation one you can clearly see in the video right so e equation one says that what is the i value i have taken if you want you can take this as equation two now look at the equation two i'll just write here from equation two what is this value that is cos h of two cos theta sin n theta that is what the we have that is what the term we have so what is the value i can replace this with i so i can write this as i is equal to minus i in the sense when you are going to simplify this what you are going to get 2i is equal to 0 implies i value is 0. So the integral value of the second integral goes to 0. So what is the value of an then? An is equal to second term will not be there first term will be as it is. So I am going to write it as 0 to 2 pi cos of h into 2 cos theta into cos n theta so first term as it is second term goes to zero why because i have proved that i value goes to zero so zero into this constant will be again zero so i have considered a n as a remaining term now in the next step replace n with minus n so wherever n is there you just replace it with minus n so when you replace this expression can be written as a of n is equal to 1 divided by in the sense i am replacing n with minus n right so here also you need to replace wherever n is there you just replace it with minus n so when you do that you will get cos h of 2 into cos theta into cos of minus n theta right as you already know that whenever you have it is an even angle that is whenever you have cos of minus theta it will be equal to minus cos i'm sorry plus cos theta right for cos and secant special property is that secant of minus theta is secant theta cos of minus theta is cos theta so thereby this value will become positive so i can write a minus n is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi integral from 0 to 2 pi cos h of 2 cos theta into cos of n theta now you can note that the value of an here look at the uh, what we say right hand side of an and the right hand side of a, a, a minus n so you can note that both the terms are equal so from these two expression i can write a of minus n is equal to an right so let me take this as equation 3 this is from equation 2 remember again i will not be sending the notes please copy the notes by watching this video as this is very important problems fine so this is what we have so I have done here. So what I have arrived is an is equal to minus, I mean an is equal to a of minus n. So both are same. Clear? Now let us consider a function f of z. So here is the initial uh, f of z function is. So let me continue here. So you can clearly see that f of z you have here. So I'll just write it once again if you want. So f of z what we have assumed n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity an into z minus z not power of n right now you can note that minus infinity to plus infinity meaning is i can divide this interval right so suppose the zero is a uh, middle value that is in between minus infinity and plus infinity uh, to the right uh, i mean to the left of zero you will get minus one to the right you will get plus one so i can divide this as minus infinity to minus one one range and zero one 
वन रेंज एंड वन टू इन्फिनिटी वन रेंज इन द सेंस वेन एवर यू हैव एन इंटरवल माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी आई कैन स्प्लिट इट एज थ्री पार्ट्स वन पार्ट इज फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू माइनस वन एंड मिडिल वैल्यू एज इट इज अनदर पार्ट इज फ्रॉम वन टू इन्फिनिटी फाइन सो आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई द सेम नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्प्लिट द समेशन फ्रॉम एन इज इक्वल टू माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी बिफोर दैट मेक श्योर दैट मार्ज एड इज इक्वल टू जीरो फाइव बिकॉज वी आर एक्सपेंडिंग द कर्व अबाउट मार्ज एड इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो जेड वैल्यू विल बी जेड नॉट वैल्यू विल बिकम जीरो सो एफ ऑफ जेड कैन बी रिटर्न एज एन इज इक्वल टू माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी ए एन इन टू जेड पावर ऑफ एन Now I'm going to split this term as f of z is equal to that is what is the given function we have taken f of z as cos h of z plus one by z is equal to now I'm going to split this summation so n is equal to minus infinity to or minus one to infinity I'll put why because lower value should be in below the summation minus one to minus infinity one value a n z power of n plus middle value is a not. Plus summation again one to infinity n is equal to one to infinity one value. Fine. What I have done is I have splitted the summation from minus infinity to plus infinity as sum of three terms. So I can write f of z that is cos hyperbolic z plus one by z as first. Let me write the first term. Here you can note that n n is ranging from minus one to minus infinity. Now what I am going to do is I'll just multiply uh, wherever the values of uh, Or else, let me say something like, uh, let me multiply each and every term with a negative sign. So first term can be written as when you're going to multiply it with minus one, you will get n is equal to one. So when you're going to multiply minus, it will become plus infinity. Now a n multiply it with minus n, you will get minus n. So z power of I'll just replace n with minus n. Fine. What I have done is I have just replaced. A uh, positive sign with a negative sign plus middle term as it is plus last term as it is n is equal to one to infinity a n into z power of n. Now you can note that just now we have arrived. Look at the equation three. What the equation three says a a of minus n will be equal to a n. So since from equation three. A of minus n is equal to a n. So I can write the first term as summation n is equal to one to infinity a n z power of minus n. Why? Because a minus n is replaced with a n plus initial term a not plus summation n is equal to one to infinity a n z power of n. Now I am going to combine these two terms. So I'll just write first term as it is plus. Summation n is equal to one to infinity. Now I'm going to take a n as a common. So what you left with z power of n plus z power of minus n. Clear? I have written middle term first. Now I have combined these two term by taking a n as a common term. So in the LHS, f of z is equal to cos hyperbolic z plus one by z is equal to this expansion gives as a Lorentz series expansion. Fine. Where a n is given by You have to write the expression for a n. Why? Because this value is zero. So a n is one divided by two pi into i is not there. So you have to write this from equation one. Two pi into zero to two pi cos hyperbolic two cos theta into cos n theta d theta. Fine. So a n is this value. Hope so. It is clear. I am just giving you a glance. So this is the first page. Where I have written the expression and I have taken a an value and integrated by splitting it into two terms. Next, in the second term, second integral I have considered and I have replaced theta with two pi minus lambda. As per the simplification, I have obtained i value as zero. So remaining an value I'll be writing at last. So instead of that. Remaining value I have taken and replaced n with minus n. I have arrived that a a of minus n is equal to a n. So by making use the use of that, I have considered the function f of z that I have taken at the beginning, and I have replaced z not with zero. Why? Because it is given in the problem. Fine. Now whatever the remaining, I am going to split the. Why? Because f of z is also taken as cos hyperbolic. So I have written the same, and again I have splitted the limits from minus infinity to plus infinity, that is summation value, into three parts. So I have written three terms here. Now let me replace the values. I mean multiplying with minus term for each and every term of the first term, and again combining, you will get a Lorentz series expansion. At last, don't forget to write a n value as this value tending to zero. Why? Because we have solved that i value is. Zero. So from that, this value goes to zero. You only get only this value as a n. So hope so. It is clear. Um,
I'll just showing you once again. Take a screenshot of first page. You just copy down. So this is the second page. Fine. Next, this is the third page. So this problem is expanding cos hyperbolic of z plus one by z. Now one more important problem. It is asked in one of the year. So in place of cos sine. So whenever you have sine hyperbolic z plus one by z, how can we solve? So here is the second problem where we have sine hyperbolic in 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 place of cos hyperbolic. So procedure is same. So let me do here. Now uh, first step. I'll just show you for your reference. First step, we have to write the Lorentz series and a n term and f of z as usual up to here. Same, you have to write down up to here. It will not change. I'm not going to write it again. I'll repeat once again. First, by Lorentz series and f of z, a n and f of z as. If you want, I'll just write it. Otherwise, you'll make a mistake. I know very well. First, let me write here solution by. Lorentz series. First, you have to write the statement that is f of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a n into z minus z naught power n, where a n is equal to one divided by two pi i into integral over c f of z divided by z minus a power of n plus one into dz. Now, let us take the given function as f of z. It is sine hyperbolic. Z plus one by Z. As usual, take Z as e power of i theta. Then dz will be i into e power of i theta d theta, where theta will be ranging from zero to two pi. So up to here, same procedure as we done it for cos. So if you want, you can go through that. Now in the next step, we have to consider a n. As I told you, so a n is given by one divided by two pi i into integral from zero to pi sine hyperbolic. Z is e power of i theta plus one by z is e power of one divided by e power of i theta divided by z is again f of z I have substituted z is again e power of i theta again a value is zero z minus a is zero so a value is zero e power of i theta whole power of n plus one dz is i into e power of i theta into d theta same only simplification changes so rest of the values will be same now. Let me write, rewrite this statement. That is, a n is equal to one divided by two pi i into integral from zero to two pi sine hyperbolic. I can write this as e power of i theta plus e power of minus i theta divided by e power of i theta n into e power of i theta i into e power of i theta d theta. Simplification is more or less same. E power of i theta, e power of i theta plus i minus i get cancelled. So a n will become one divided by two pi into integral from zero to two pi sine hyperbolic. So as I already told you, this value that is e power of i theta plus e power of minus i theta by two is cos theta. So cross multiply, you will get this value. So I can write this as two into cos theta divided by So instead of writing divided by, I'll just shift it to numerator. You will get e power of minus i into n theta into d theta. Fine. Now, as usual, let me expand this term. So you will get a n is equal to one divided by two pi integral over zero to two pi sine hyperbolic two cos theta into e power of minus i into n theta is cos n theta plus. That is, uh, since you have uh, um, plus in the standard expression, that is, I'll just write here e power of i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta. So whenever you have minus i theta, you'll be getting minus cos i n theta minus i into sin n theta d theta. As you just split it as two terms, so that is, a n is equal to one divided by two pi into integral from zero to pi sin hyperbolic two cos theta into cos n theta. Minus one divided by two pi into integral from zero to two pi sine hyperbolic two cos theta into sine n theta d theta. What I have done is I have split the given integral into two terms. Now, as usual, consider the second uh, integral as i. That is this value as i. So that this expression, let us call this as one. So now let us consider. Same procedure. So i is equal to integral from zero to two pi sine hyperbolic two times of cos theta into sine n theta d theta. Fine. Now we have to find the value of this integral. It is sine n theta d theta. So let me evaluate this. As usual, we have to replace replace theta by 
2 pi minus lambda. So when you replace limits also changing. So d theta let me calculate. d theta will be minus d lambda. So when theta is equal to 0, lambda is equal to 2 pi. When theta is equal to 2 pi, you will get lambda is equal to 0. You substitute the value of theta here. So you will get the value of lambda. Fine. So after replacing, I will just continue here. So if you replace, you will get i as integral from 0 to 2 pi sin hyperbolic 2 times of cos theta is 2 pi minus lambda. Since I am changing the theta value, so you have to change the limits from 2 pi to 0. 2 pi to 0. Clear? Into sin of n, theta is replaced to 2 pi minus lambda. Into d theta value is minus d lambda. Just the substitution. Now let me simplify this. So i is equal to integral from 2 pi to 0 sin of h into so, as I already told you, cos of uh, 2 pi is none other than cos of 360. So, cos of 360 minus theta will be cos theta. So, I can write this as 2 times cos lambda into sin of n as it is. So, again I can write sin of 2 pi minus lambda is minus sin 2 lambda, right? So, here I can write this as sin of n into 2 pi minus n into lambda. So, sin of 360, it is something like sin 360 minus theta. Remember, sin of 360 minus theta will be minus sin theta. So, I can write this as minus minus sin n into theta value is lambda into minus d lambda. So, minus of minus will become plus. So, you will get i value is 2 pi to 0 sin hyperbolic 2 cos lambda into sin n lambda d lambda why because here minus of minus will become plus you are here you have a minus sign remember now further what can we write this as you can note that i'll just change the limit of this so as i said when you're going to interchange the limit so it will be changing by signs that is whenever you have a to b you can write this as minus b to a so i can write this as 0 to 2 pi sin hyperbolic 2 times of cos lambda into sin n lambda d lambda now, look at the i value what we have assumed here. Look at the equation 2. So, i value we have taken it as 0 to 2 pi sin hyperbolic 2 cos theta d theta. So, in place of lambda you have theta. So, let me replace lambda with theta. So, I can write i is equal to minus 0 to 2 pi sin hyperbolic 2 times of cos theta into sin n theta d theta. So, whatever we have done for cos hyperbolic of z plus 1z, same procedure you have to do for sin as well. Now, I can replace this entire value as i. Why? Because we have chosen this entire value as i from equation 2. So, I can write this as i from equation 2. So, you can note that 2i is equal to 0 implies i value will be 0. So, from this, uh, you just substitute the value of i in equation 1. So, equation 1 becomes an is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into integral from 0 to 2 pi sin hyperbolic 2 cos theta into cos n theta and this expression will be useful further now as usual what we have done we have to replace n with minus n right so let me do that let me replace n with minus n so when you replace n with minus n you, you will get a of minus n is equal to 1 by 2 pi into 0 to 2 pi sin hyperbolic of 2 cos theta into cos of minus n theta so as i already told you uh, whenever you are going to put cos of minus theta you will get cos theta only as per the special property of cos and secant so anyhow it, it, it will not change so i can write a minus n as 1 divided by 2 pi integral over 0 to 2 pi sin hyperbolic of 2 cos theta into cos n theta and you can note that a n value is same as a minus n as we done in cos so this expression is equivalent to a n so i can write a minus n is equal to a n let me take this as equation 3 fine now let us consider a function f of z that we have assumed earlier same procedure so f of z is summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a n into z minus z naught power of n and at the same time f of z we have chosen a sign a hyperbolic of z plus 1 by z with this i can write f of z as f of z is equal to sine hyperbolic of z plus 1 by z which is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a n into z minus z naught power of n what i have done is i have taken f of z by as our assumption as a function and the given function clear now what i'm going to do is as usual i'm going to split this uh, uh, summation value that is minus infinity to plus infinity into two terms i'm sorry three terms so i can write f of z 
as that is sin hyperbolic of z plus 1 by z can be written as so these steps are clearly explained in first problem you can go through that so i can write n is equal to minus 1 to in minus infinity a n z power of n plus a naught plus n is equal to 1 to infinity a n z power of n so i have splitted this uh, summation value into three terms fine so further i can write f of z is equal to sin hyperbolic z plus 1 by z will be equal to when you replace i mean when you multiply each and every term with a negative sign so i can write this expression as n is equal to 1 to infinity a minus n z power of minus n plus a naught plus n is equal to 1 to infinity a n z n fine now you can note that we can combine these two terms that is f of z is equal to sin hyperbolic z plus 1 by z can be written as summation n is equal to 1 to infinity let me take since a, a minus n can be written as a n that is from a, a equation 3 a n is equal to a minus n if you want i will write one more step so i can write this as a n z power of minus n plus a naught plus n is equal to 1 to infinity a n z power of n fine further i will just write first term a naught and i will just combine these two terms so that i can write n is equal to 1 to infinity a n as a common term so z power of minus n plus z power of n therefore f of z is equal to sin hyperbolic z plus 1 by z is equal to this expansion and clearly you have to write one more statement that is a n so a n can be obtained by substituting this value here i have a n value why because second integral goes to zero from equation one so a n will have you will have a n as first term only so i have written here so where a n is equal to 1 by 2 pi into integral from 0 to 2 pi sin hyperbolic of 2 cos theta into cos n theta into d theta fine so this is the required Lorentz series expansion of a sin hyperbolic z plus 1 by z i will just uh, show you once again whatever the procedure i have followed for cos hyperbolic the same procedure follows here so first page is this you just take screenshot and second page is this as we already know i have evaluated integral i and i have proved that value is equal to zero next i have proved a minus n is equal to a n and next Lorentz series expansion third page hope so it is clear and you have written this now, now let me solve one more problem here is the second problem so we have to expand it make it a second problem we have to I'm sorry third problem right I'm sorry first problem is cos hyperbolic second problem is sin hyperbolic third one is expand f of z in Lorentz series when f of z is given as this and moreover the region is given here and again f of z is this function the region is given here now we can find the Lorentz series expansion of this function without uh, using a partial fraction. So let me solve the first one. Let us consider a function f of z is equal to 1 divided by z plus 1 into z plus 3. Fine. Now region given is 0 less than mod z plus 1 less than 2. Now what you are going to do is let us take this region that is z plus 1 as some other variable say u. So this is what the procedure is. So when you are going to replace z plus 1 with u f of z in the sense f of z can be written as 1 divided by z plus 1 is u again z plus 3 here z plus 3 can be written as z plus 1 plus 2 so z plus 1 is u you can write u plus 2 fine i have replaced z plus 1 with u now let me take this uh, let me arrange this term i mean when you are going to take 2 as a common term in in this expression i mean in the second term you will get u by 2 plus 1 clear now f of z can be written as 1 divided by 2u into I'll just shift this to numerator so you will get 1 divided 1 plus u by 2 whole power of minus 1 fine where you have to write the condition that u by 2 is none other than u is none other than z plus 1 divided by 2 and it should be less than 1 fine so if it exceed 1 uh, the value will not satisfy the given condition so you have to write this condition again i can expand this 1 by 2 u into as i already told you whenever you have plus in between you have to put alternatively negative and positive so 1 minus u by 2 plus u by 2 whole square minus u by 2 whole cube plus so on so you will get this expansion fine now you just replace u with z that is 1 by 2 into in place of u put the value z plus 1 into 1 minus u is z plus 1 divided by 2 plus z plus 1 divided by 2 square is 4 that is z plus 1 whole square by 4 minus 2 cube is 8 so u is none other than z plus 1 whole cube divided by 8 plus so on so alternatively negative and positive sign should be there further if you want you can multiply and you can write one more step 
so let me write here so i'll just multiply 1 by 2 into z plus 1 minus z plus 1 z plus 1 get cancelled so you will get 1 divided by 4 next plus z plus 1 z plus 1 one term get cancelled so you will get 4 to the 8 plus again z plus 1 whole square into uh, 8 to the 16 minus 1 i'm sorry it is minus again you will get plus clear i have just multiplied this term inside so this is the required lorentz series expansion for the first term fine so now let me solve the second problem by using the same procedure so given function i'll just write here second problem so second one is f of z is equal to 1 divided by z minus 1 into z minus 2 fine reason is 0 less than mod z minus 1 less than 1 clear now let me write this expansion as that is let me take u as z minus 1 same procedure so f of z will be 1 divided by u now z minus 2 can be written as z minus 1 minus 1 so z minus is z minus 1 is u so you will get u minus 1 so the expression is u into u minus 1 further you have to write the condition mod u is none other than mod z minus 1 that should be less than 1 fine now i can write this as 1 divided by u into u minus 1 power of minus 1 since you have negative sign in between so i'll just take common factor so that first term will become it is of the form 1 minus x power minus 1 so in order to convert it i'll just take minus as a common term so you'll get 1 by u into 1 minus u power of minus 1 now we can expand this by using the expansion so i can write 1 plus u plus u square plus u cube plus so on now if you want you can multiply u inside so that you will get minus 1 by u minus u u u get cancelled so minus 1 plus into minus minus you will get u next plus into minus minus you will get u square plus so on now replace the value of u you will get minus 1 divided by z minus 1 minus 1 minus z minus 1 minus z minus 1 whole square fine either you can keep this or else if you want you can simplify fine so this is the required Lorentz series expansion it is very simple Hope so it is clear you just take a screenshot and copy to the notes so first problem is this and second sub question i have solved here fine so here is the fourth problem we have to solve this by using partial fraction so first one let me consider the given function f of z is equal to z square minus 1 divided by z plus 2 into z plus 3 fine now let me evaluate this by using partial fraction so i can write z square minus 1 divided by z plus 2 into z plus 3 as a divided by z plus 2 plus b divided by z plus 3 fine so further you can simplify this as z square minus 1 is equal to a into z plus 3 plus b into z plus 2 fine now let me uh, find the values of a and b either you can equate the coefficients or you can uh, substitute the value of z fine let me put z as minus 2 so when you are going to substitute z as minus 2 you will not get b value so you will get minus 2 whole square minus 1 is equal to a into minus 2 plus 3 fine so minus 2 whole square is 4 minus 1 is equal to a into 1 so a value is 1 divided by 3 i am sorry 3 is equal to a into 1 you will get so a value is 3 fine now let me replace z is equal to minus 3 so you will get the value of b so minus 3 whole square minus 1 is equal to b into minus 3 plus 2 minus 3 square is 9 minus 1 is equal to b into minus 1 so 9 minus 1 is 8 8 is equal to b into minus 1 so the value of b is minus 8 so once you obtain the value of a and b i can write the given function f of z as z square minus 1 divided by z plus 2 into z plus 3 can be written as 3 divided by z plus 2 i am just substituting the values of a and b minus b is minus 8 divided by z plus 3 fine now i can expand this function so before that I can rewrite this as 3 into z plus 2 whole power of minus 1 minus 8 into z plus 3 whole power of minus 1. Now I will just rearrange this. I will just take 2 as a common term or else um, I cannot take 2 as a common term. Why? Because we have 2 power of minus 1 here. So I will just rewrite this 3 by z plus 2 minus 8 divided by z plus 3. So in this step only you have to take 2 as a common so that you will get z by 2 plus 1. 
so in this step also 3 common term so z plus z by 3 plus 1 you will get now you can shift the term so 3 by 2 into z by 2 plus 1 whole power of minus 1 minus 8 by 3 into z by 3 plus 1 power of minus 1 now you can expand easily right i will just repeat once again whenever you shift this term you cannot take the common factor there where be why because you have 2 power of minus 1 there so instead what i have done is i have converted it into virginal form and there now i have taken 2 as a common term so i have obtained this now shifted it into numerator now we can expand easily by using alternative negative and positive sign. Why? Because we have plus sign in between. So f of z can be written as 3 by 2 times 1 plus, I am sorry, first, first, for the first term you have to put minus 1 minus z by 2 plus z by 2 whole square minus z by 2 whole cube plus so on minus 8 by 3 into again here 1 minus z by 3 plus z by 3 whole square minus z by 3 whole cube plus so on. So this is the required power series expansion for the first problem that is when mod z less than 2. Fine. For the second problem it is given that 2 less than mod z which is less than 3. So I can write this expression by splitting it into 2. Right. One thing is mod z less than 3 and another is 2 less than mod z meaning is mod z will be greater than 2. Clear? So in the first case you can note that it is for mod z less than 2. Remember when you have mod z less than 2 you have to take constant outside. So here mod z greater than 2. So you have to take z outside. Now let me consider a function f of z. Fine. So f of z is given by 3 divided by z plus 2 minus 8 divided by z plus 3. Now, as I already told you, which term we have to take since mod z greater than 2. Here mod z less than 2, so I have taken 2 outside. Now, let me take z outside. So, when you take z outside, what you are going to get? 1 plus 2 divided by z minus 8 divided by, here also I will take z as a common, 1 plus 3 divided by z. Fine. I am sorry, one more thing is here you have mod z less than 3, but it is not greater than c. So, you have to take 3 as a common term. Make sure if you have greater than 3, you have to take z common. If you have mod z less than 3, see here we, we have mod z less than 2, so I have taken 2 common. Mod z greater than 2, so I have taken z common. Similarly, here for 3, it is mod z less than 3. So, I have to take 3 as a common term. So, you will get mod z divided by 3 plus 1. I am sorry, it is mod z. It is 3 into z by 3 plus 1. So, I'll just write here 3 by z into 1 plus 2 divided by z whole power of minus 1 minus 8 by 3 into z by 3 plus 1 whole power of minus 1. Clear? Now, we can expand this by using the expansion. So, you will get f of z as 3 by z into 1 minus 2 by z plus 2 by z square minus 2 by z cube plus so on minus 8 by 3 into here also 1 minus z by 3 minus plus z by 3 whole square minus z by 3 whole cube plus so on. Hope so you understand this concept. Fine. See here whenever you have mod z less than 2 you have to take 2 common. Mod z greater than 2 you have to take z common. Mod z less than 3 you have to take 3 common from these terms. Hope so it is clear. And so this is the solution for the second expression. So you just keep as it is. Now third expression is mod z greater than 3. So write down here mod z greater than 3. So consider the given function f of z as 3 divided by z plus 2 minus 8 divided by z plus 3. Now you can clearly check yourself that mod z is greater than 3. So you have to take z as a common term from the second. But we don't have any condition for the first term. So you have to take whatever the term you are going to take common here. You have to take the same term here also. So 3 divided if there is no condition and 2. So here there is no condition and 2. So we can take z as outside. So you will get 1 plus 2 by z. Since you have condition and 3 it is greater than. So you have to take z outside. So 3 by z. Now I can rewrite this as 3 by z into 1 plus 2 by z whole power of minus 1 minus 8 by z into 1 plus 3 by z whole power of minus 1. Now you can expand this expansion 3 by z into 1 minus 2 by z plus 2 by z whole square minus 2 by z whole cube plus so on minus 8 by z into 1 plus 3 by I am sorry 1 minus first term minus 1 minus 3 by z plus 3 by z whole square minus 3 by z whole cube plus so on. So this is the required 
Lorentz series expansion for this mod z greater than 3. Hope so it is clear. See this is the solution for the first problem. I have expanded this and I have uh, uh, applied the expansion of uh, function. So I have obtained the solution for the first sub question. So here is the solution for the second sub question and the third sub question. Hope so it is clear. So remaining problems will be continued in the next session. Thank you. You just copy down these problems in the notes. Again, I will not be sending the notes. So further, if you have any queries, you can free to ask me. See you in the next session.